Hey, Will, welcome to New Orleans. Uh, just want to see a little bit uh, about maybe what brought you here and uh, kind of what led to uh, the agreement with the Saints here. Uh, yeah, man. No, first of all, man, super excited to be here. Um, it's crazy. You know, I got I got a lot of family down here. Uh, my pops is from uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. So um, I got a lot of extended family down here. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it uh, kind of, you know, the free agent process, you know, I was just, you know, kind of just working out, uh, kind of grinding every day. I let my agent handle, you know, you know, everything else kind of, uh, you know, all the, all the logistics of it. But, um, you know, when, you know, when they reached out and I seen that there was an opportunity to come to New Orleans, man, I, I just, I, you know, we, we, we had to take it. We had to take it. So um, I wanted to be around the culture, not only of the city of New Orleans, but uh, the culture that they've established um the culture of dominance that they've established uh, around the league, um, you know, over the past, you know, couple, you know, over the past, you know, two decades. So, um, you know, that, you know, that culture in the city, that culture of the team, man, and just, you know, there was a lot of crossover. Um, obviously we had some, you know, some guys, uh, you know, from here, you know, on my last, on my last team in Detroit. So, um, you know, I, you know, when, when the opportunity came, you know, I had to take it. You mentioned some of the overlap with some of the coaching staff in Detroit, obviously working with former, well, defensive backs, I mean, working with former defensive backs coach here in New Orleans, uh, Aaron Glenn, uh, over in Detroit. How do you feel that that sort of uniquely prepared you for this opportunity? Oh, I mean, for sure. I mean, it's uh, it's, it's crazy because when you talk about kind of, you know, establishing and building a culture uh, within the team, um, you know, that's something that, you know, you know, I've always been very, uh, you know, uh, very involved with and you know something that I try to make sure that I'm pulling my weight to do and so when I came down here I mean I got the same you know feel and um and you know you can kind of feel it in the air here you know you get you get here and it's you know people do things the right way they do things a certain way and you know you have to come in here and you got to work you got to grind and so you know that's who I am to a T and so I was I was, I was definitely uh excited to be able to have this opportunity. Will, how would you kind of best describe your your play strengths and and what it is that you bring to the field? Um, you know, I would say that you know I've had to I've had the uh, opportunity to be uh, pretty versatile over the last um you know over the last five years of my career. Um, you know, being able to play you know safety, nickel, and you know corner, obviously as well. Um, you know, I I, I was a uh, you know, I was I was attracted here, you know, just because, you know, they do, you know, they have had a track record of having, you know, some, you know, some other versatile guys who can do a lot of things as well. So, you know, I would say that, but, you know, kind of getting, you know, back into my groove, um, you know, just, you know, being back in the building and um, been working on all types of, you know, techniques and stuff like that outside of, you know, on my own, just training. So, you know, I'm happy to be around the guys. Happy to be, you know, around the team, around the facility, and get back into that grind every day. Uh, Will, it's 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 hard to talk about your game without talking about versatility, right? Um, back in 2021, you took snaps from all over that Detroit defense. Is is that sort of the style of play that you're most comfortable with? And is that the the role that you envision for yourself here in New Orleans? Or is it more about, you know, are you at this point in your career looking for a more specified role? Um, you know, I mean, I've always said, and, and I still stand on it to this day, uh, wherever the team needs me to be, I'll be, um, wherever, you know, wherever they see me at, you know, between those white lines, you know, I'll do it. And, um, that's kind of something that I've always worn with pride ever since college. And so, you know, you know, what, you know, whatever they need me to do, whatever they need me to do, you know, you know, I'm with it. So I'm definitely looking forward to the opportunity. I've been getting to know the guys over the last, uh, you know, day and a half that I've been here. So, um, you know, it's definitely a, uh, you know, a work in, prog uh, work in pro uh, progress, but, you know, I'm excited to be here, man. And, um, and uh, you know, yeah, you can feel the love here. So, you know, I love the, uh, you know, the atmosphere and, you know, how guys go to work over here. So I'm excited to be a part of it. Yeah, you kind of mentioned that that atmosphere, and I know you've only been around for you know about a day and a half, like you mentioned, but what are your early impressions of uh, Marcus Robertson if you've had, you know, enough time to really sit down with him? Oh, for sure. I mean, I you know I spent a bunch of time with him already. Um, you know, just trying to get caught up, get um, you know, hitting the playbook hard, and you know, uh, you know, hitting some technique as well. You know, so, so I've been I've been really leaning on him a lot.
um, you know, for a lot of that stuff. But, you know, great dude, man, great, great coach, obviously has an abundance of wisdom, you know, having played for, you know, over 10 years, you know, been in coaching, been, in, you know, um, so he's, you know, been around the game for, for a long time. And so having guys like that around and having guys like that as a resource for me um, is huge, especially, you know, just getting here a couple of days ago, man, I can, um, you know, I, you know, he, he probably, uh, he probably getting a, a little annoyed at me hitting his phone all the time, but, <laughs> but he's always, uh, he, he's always uh, willing to, uh, to send me a text back or to meet up with me or get with me um, about anything, uh, you know, about the defense or anything. So it's been great. Hey, Will, I'm curious when, you know, you talk about doing whatever it takes for the team, when you see your playing time kind of fluctuate, fluctuate the way it did the last couple of years, in Detroit is there I don't know necessarily like a, um, a mindset you have to have or, or like how do you kind of handle maybe a decrease in, in playing time and you're not seeing the snaps you're used to but still wanting to do whatever it takes uh, to help uh, your teammates <clears throat> and all that right right I mean I mean at the end of the day I mean I'm a competitor and you know I don't think many guys you know can make it in this league you know if you're not so um, I wake up every day and I imagine myself kind of you know out there and I imagine myself you know, between the white lines, you know, whatever that may be, putting, you know, strapping them up, putting on the pads on Sundays and, you know, going to war with my brothers on Sundays. That's, you know, that's kind of been what my mindset is. You know, I've had, you know, opportunities, different, you know, opportunities. There's been different situations kind of every year um, of my career, but I feel like any opportunity that I've been, you know, that I've had and, you know, if I'm on the field, like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to stand up and make my presence felt for sure. So, um, you know, you know, that's what kind of brings it back to, you know, whatever the team needs, whatever they need me to do, um, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. But, you know, with that being said, you know, I'm definitely a competitor and, um, you know, I do have, you know, all the aspirations and, and, you know, you know, desires or whatever that, you know, any other, you know, player in this league has. And so, um, you know, that's where the work comes in. I just got to work, um, every day. And what do you add kind of from the slot or how do you feel like you are as a slot corner specifically? Um, I mean, I've got a lot of experience. Yeah. <laughs> I was able to get my experience on uh, up on that in, uh, you know, in Detroit. But, um, you know, I've just been able to kind of uh, able to kind of just learn, you know, especially over the past couple of years, just learn just the intricacies of the position. There's a lot of ways that you have to play things differently uh, than if you were outside uh, leverage wise, mechanics wise, run fit wise, you know, not even talking about the past game, but, you know, you know, you're in a lot of times you're in the run fit as well. So, you know, there's a lot of things that go into being, you know, a slot corner or, you know, a slot DB or whatever. So, um, but at the same time, that's what makes it fun. You know, you're heavily involved uh, in most things that the defense is doing, you know, when you're on the field. So um, that's definitely a great, you know, position to be in. That's a great, uh, you know, uh, position in the field to, uh, you know, just to really make an impact all over the field. So, Hey, Will, obviously a big change across the NFL with the the new kickoff role. I just want to get your thoughts on it. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, we're, you know, we're still trying to, well, I know I, I am at least still trying to study that every day. Um, you know, because, you know, there's always the rules, the rules is one thing, but, you know, you know, then comes after that is a bunch of uh, kind of bunch of, you know, the strategies that, you know, you can kind of uh, foresee coming down the road, um, you know, that that guys, you know, the teams may try to may try to use to, you know, to implement the rules or so, so that the rules kind of benefit you as much as possible. So, um, you know, we're talking about that, you know, in here, just, you know, things to expect, things to um, things that we could try to capitalize on you know, things that, you know, other teams may, you know, try to, you know, how other teams may try to attack you, you know, given the new rules. So, you know, it's, you know, that's, you know, that's still a learning, a learning process and, um, you know, definitely still study, study enough on that to this day. So. And you kind of mentioned this before, but when, you know, being in Detroit as long as you were, when Dan Campbell and them came in, like, did they talk about kind of that New Orleans culture and could you kind of see the influences maybe that they brought from new orleans and how they wanted to run uh detroit oh yeah 100 percent, no doubt 
no doubt. Um, you know, that was one of the reasons why, you know, when I got the call from Detroit, man, I was, I was just, man, I, I was excited, man. I was super excited cause just because I was like, I already knew, you know, what to expect. And me never having even, you know, you know, visited or anything like that before, um, prior to me coming here, um, you know, you could just, you know, you could see it on TV. Like, you know, when, when, when we weren't playing and I would always watch, you know, watch the guys, um, you know, watch these guys play, man, they play a certain type of way. You could see it um, even as a, even as a spectator. So, you know, when Dan and, you know, AG and all those guys, they came up um, to Detroit, man, it was like a, it was, it, it was night and day um, as far as what they expected, what they expected more so like just setting the culture and changing the culture and deciding as a team how we're going to play and the purpose for which we're playing. So, um, you know, I walked through the doors here, felt that Im immediately, man. There's so many great players that have played here and so many great coaches and, you know, that have coached here, man. And so, you know, I'm I'm just excited to, you know, to try to leave, uh, to try to, you know, pull my weight and leave as big of a footprint as I can, you know, and try to, uh, you know, help these guys any, you know, any chance I get, man, and try to, you know, just do my part.